Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain how to share folders with specific permissions to a specific group. And I will also explain how to share these folders as a dry partition without taking any steps from the users. And, I will also show you how to create GPO on Windows Server, to map network drive automatically step by step. The first step is to share the folder. First, create a new folder and give it a name. After that, right click on the folder you want to share, and from the menu, click on properties. After that, click on the security tab from the top and you must remove the groups and the username. So, click on advanced and remove all groups and usernames that have permission on this folder. Make removal of everyone who has permissions on this folder. If it does not allow you to remove, click on disable inheritance so that the system will allow you to disable and stop inheritance. Then, click on the apply button and then the OK button. Now you can add a specific user or group name to this folder. Click the edit button, then click on the add button. After that, add domain admins. And they are very necessary and add the group with which this folder will be shared. For example, I will only share this folder with the group called test. And don't forget to give full control permission to both the test group and domain admins. After you have given permission to the folder, we will make the sharing settings. Right click on the folder and select properties. Click on the sharing tab and then click on advanced sharing. From the advanced sharing window, check to share this folder and leave the name as it is or change if you want. Then, click on the permissions button. Remove every one of the share permissions. Then add domain admins members. And give full control permission. Also add the group called test to give full control permission. After that, click on the apply button and then the OK button. And with that, we have finished the sharing settings for this folder. Look at the network path of this folder. It is preferable to save this path because we will need it when we configure the map network drive settings from group policy. Select the path and right click on it and click on copy. After completing the sharing settings for this folder, we're going to the second step, which is how to create GPO on a Windows server to map a network drive automatically. Open Server Manager. Then from the list of tools, click on Group Policy Management. After that, create a new policy. Right click on the Group Policy object and choose New from the list in front of you. A window will appear in which you type a name for the new Group Policy. It should be noted that the name indicates an explanation of this policy. Next. Right click on the new GPO you created and select the edit option. Under user configuration. Click on preferences. Then. Click on windows settings. Then. Right click on drive maps and from the menu click on mapped drive. In the new drive properties window, in the action field, we will choose update, so that the matter is always renewed. As for the location, we will go to the folder that we made the sharing settings, and open the properties, then open the sharing tab, copy the folder path on the network, and then paste the folder path on the network in the specified location of the folder. After that, Select Reconnect so that it is always connected. In the Label as field, type the name that you want to appear to users on the client computer. That is, the name of the drive that will appear to the user. Then select the drive letter that the new drive will take. For example, 
I will choose the letter Z, and then press the apply button and then OK. You can now close the group policy management editor, and the last step is to link this new policy, of sharing the folder as a drive to the organizational unit, you want. I always link it to the organizational unit test. Then, after the success of the policy, I link it and apply it directly to other organizational units. To test the configuration, you need to log in on a domain computer and verify if the network drive was automatically mapped. If the mapped network drive does not appear automatically, log off the user, or restart the computer. Then log in, and the network drive, will appear automatically without making any settings from the user. You will find that the network drive appears automatically, with the same name, and the same drive letter. If the user removes this drive, then when he reboots the computer, it will appear automatically. Also, this drive will only appear to users, who have been allowed while making sharing settings. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching, and I hope subscribe to my channel, thank you all.